Hello Cancer, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you. So we've got the Seven of Wands. Followed by the Hanged Man. Page of Wands. Okay, so I felt like you were experiencing a blockage to um, an idea that you had about doing something, an idea about a certain path that you wanted to walk, to do with wisdom and enlightenment, something that you possibly wanted to learn. Um, there was someone in your vicinity, possibly a boyfriend, girlfriend, um, parent, family member, friend, who was maybe discouraging you from doing this thing that you wanted to do L learning this thing this skill maybe you wanted to um do some sort of evening classes or or go back to a higher education or something like that Okay, Four of Cups. So that's kind of telling me that if you do walk this path, there is um, blessings, there is offerings from the universe, or just from the situation in general. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, you are definitely being encouraged to walk away from things that no longer serve you. So maybe you felt stuck in a rut with something that you have been doing for quite a while. Could be a job. That's what I'm actually getting. You wanted to break free from the nine to five and do something for yourself. Like following your intuition, going with your hunches and your gut feeling towards something. Striking the correct work-life balance. And it has been slow to begin with. I think that, um, don't worry about the pace at which things are happening. Because things will take off at the right time. But there is a certain amount of, um, I, I'm getting the feeling that you've been challenged here in the past with this Seven of Wands. And it put you in a sort of, it made you feel like you were stuck. You didn't want to go against whoever this person was who was saying, I don't think you should do that. I think you should, hey, maybe you're married with kids. And it was like your partner was saying, mm, are you really going to take all that risk doing this thing on your own? Maybe that was the kind of conversation that was going on. But with the Eight of Cups there, right slap bang, centre of the reading, that is definitely walking away from um, disappointments and things of the past. So don't be afraid to walk away from things that are no longer serving you. Three of Wands. See, with the Three of Wands coming after the Knight of Pentacles, that is very much a waiting energy. That is like not much progress forward. When I do think you should be going forward with whatever your dreams or your ambitions are. Let's see what's in the final two places. <clears throat> 
three of wands known as the waiting for your ships to come in. Hmm, brilliant. The sun. Best card in the deck. The best card in tarot. The yes card. The card of healing, health, vibrancy, abundance, youth, vitality, no matter what age you are. Um, a fresh perspective. The sun is mirroring the hanged man opposite the reading and this hanged man, well, he has a glowing emblem around his head. You, you, you could say that it's like a sun. In, in this reading, I'm getting that. And in fact, right across the middle, we do have the Hanged Man, the Eight of Cups, and the Sun. Like a moment of <clears throat> a moment of enlightenment over here, a realization, being prepared to take the road less travelled, Eight of Cups, maybe a uh, dark night of the soul, into the light, and that that is the order that you want them in with the. Sun coming up. It looks like you're in the middle of this journey, but with the sun coming up in that final row representing the outcome of this situation. That's brilliant. Three of Cups celebration. So celebrate yourself. Work-life balance. Work hard, play hard. Don't forget to celebrate any wins. Mini wins, big wins. And try and keep that energy of success and celebration and that um, feeling of, oh, that went well. Try and keep that feeling going. Let's clarify. Okay, so the very first card. The Magician. The card of a manifestation. Thoughts become things. What we think about, we bring about. What you are thinking about is thinking about you, believe it or not. Even if it's a potato. Six of Cups. Showing up on the Hanged Man here. So for some, this could be speaking of a Pisces in the past. That was difficult, maybe didn't want you to do something. But for others, it's just asking you to release the past. Six of Cups has been coming out a lot this week, so it is a collective energy releasing the past for everyone. Obviously, <clears throat> that has got something to do with the time of year as well. Um, last year is gone. This year is ahead. Two of Swords. <clears throat> so choices to be made. That choice will, I have described a couple of times. Trust your intuition, go with your gut, do the things that you think are right for you. <clears throat> There's not much suggesting that it's a work thing, but that is what I am picking up on intuitively. The star. I like the star. There is always hope when the star comes out. It does represent miracles. It is on the Four of Cups. Believe in miracles.
And don't forget, sometimes it, like if a miracle happens in your life and then that energy dissipates for some years, um, don't forget that it is always still around. So... Miracles can always happen. King of Wands on the Eight of Cups. That is the energy of setting out on a journey and being bold and courageous. Where there will be victory. Six of Wands. Victory in motion. Put yourself in a progressive motion to be victorious. And you will be. You will be. Queen of Swords looking to the future with your back to the past. And if this, um, if this past won't go, take your sword. And anything that's negative, cut it out of your life. I don't think that's for many, that message. Hmm, what have we got? Clarify. Hmm, interesting. We've got the Knight of Pentacles showing up again. So, because it's clarifying the sun, the sun bringing light into a situation... You've been too cautious about something, about a project that you've been working on. Or a spiritual path that you know you must walk down. And it looks scary, but it's not. A shadow work, the dark side of oneself, that can often look scary from the beginning. Victory, the chariot card, as your final card. Clarifying that three of cups. Victory, celebration. Well done. Okay, Cancer, I'm just going to get you an affirmation card. This one wanted to... Uh, you got the discernment card. Discernment. Ooh, <laughs> throwing it around. Discernment. <clears throat> discernment means sensing what feels wrong or right trusting is your judgment trusting your intuition and acting on it your angel guidance is to look at the people and situations in your life now and respond to your gut feeling hmm Learn to develop your intuition and ask the angels to help you discern the good from the bad. They will prompt and guide you. You will feel safer, happier, stronger and clearer. Angel wisdom reminds you that when you can be trusted to use discernment, you can serve the universe in a great way. So the universe is watching to see what decisions you make in certain situations. Like... Eight of Cups. Do you want to go back to the past or are you going to go forward? Are you going to go forward with this thing? Um, what jumped into my head when I read the good and the bad thing moment. There's nothing really bad going on here. You know, there's, there's, there's no tower. There's no ten of swords. There's no, not that those cards are bad cards. They can be good cards. But it's a good reading. There's just a bit of um, slow held up slightly stuck energy I don't like using the word stuck because I don't like you know no 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 one's really stuck by others um but you did have the sun in the final row as the outcome with the chariot as well showing up there so great oh I forgot to read the affirmation discernment I trust my intuition. I trust my intuition. Okay, Cancer, thanks for being here. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Until next time, goodbye.